Julia, <clears throat> here's to all those late night drunk phone calls that you picked up. Got that tape for two saved in our names. To all those late night, long distance text conversations that we never knew where they'd lead us. I look back on those long distance days and while challenging, I smile knowing that they've made our little love story a little more unique. Julia, Pat, I know today is not the day you initially chose for this wedding ceremony, and I know this is not the initial venue you fell in love with back in the day. And I know for sure I'm not the wedding officiant that parents, <laughs> that parents daydream about their kids having one day. There's a lot to celebrate today about Pat and Julia's future. It's been a long time coming, but all the ups and downs and the stress and the planning and replanning make today that much more sweet. We've been given a perfect fall day with family and friends, which we've, many of them we've been apart from for way too long. So today, in this moment, life is pretty darn good. I just can't be Now, before we look to the future, I need to rewind the clock about 16 months to Pat and Julia's actual wedding day. Because none of us got invited, I felt the need to share some highlights from their special day told through the lens of their parents and Pat and Julia. Pat and Julia officially tied the knot last June down the beach in Margate on the sand in a small ceremony. I feel like I have truly waited a lifetime for this day. I'm standing here and feel like the luckiest girl in the entire world. I get to marry the love of my life for a second time. I'm also really happy I slid into your DMs on Instagram and made the first move. <laughs> it gives me great joy to announce for the first time before family and friends, Pat and Julia as husband and wife. Pat you may now kiss your bride. Same, but I can't be just